Welcome back, Ranger. Today, 2020, this is a uh, beginning of April. We'll be potting on these Alisons. Looking really well. Golf ball mixed, I think they call something like that. I shall get the video set up. Sorry about this, folks. Over here. Right. As you can see, some of them have started flowering already, which is absolutely brilliant. Let's uh, get a little dibber. I use a nice flat end in knife like this, nice and blunt. Down the side, if you want to try and save these trees, which are basically disposable, I've had them a few years, but instead of pushing from the bottom, down the side like so, and then gently ease them out. As you can see there, beautiful little root system and some beautiful flowers. So, get your pot like so, in the middle. Nice bit of compost all the way around. These go really well in pots or in baskets. Or the front of borders. I'm using a peat based compost. I shall start feeding these once a week now. This will get watered and then we'll go back onto my top shelf. Back onto my top shelf from my greenhouse. As you can see, some white ones. I've also got some beautiful purple ones here. Even better root system on that one. Nice in the middle like so. Bit of compost around there. Yeah. If you have any questions regarding growing these or anything else that I've grown in my videos, please don't hesitate to ask. I shall get back to you as soon as I can. These, some of these might be going on the allotment as well. We'll soon see. But yeah, I've got some of these. I'm quite surprised how well these done, but some really hot weather a few days this last month. And a lot of these dried out, but they recovered really well. Get that one in there like so. Get round. But yeah, the flowers are going to look really well this year. Like I said, it's a purple, white. Another one there. Yeah, there's nothing more relaxing than sitting down and doing some of this potting on. We get in the centre like so. Doesn't matter if you get it in between the leaves, not a problem. And you get a good tap down. Make sure it's in the centre. So then when you come in the centre, you've got plenty of room when your pots are together. Just get this nice purple one here. Absolutely gorgeous. Just get a name tag. And there's some. These purple ones, I've run the white ones before, but I haven't run the purple ones before. So I'll just get these. I'm running out of these this year, I might have to order some more of these because I'm getting that many. Some compost in. And then all I need to do, just do this last one. I'll do some more. When the cameras go off, you don't see me doing them all. Give them a good tap down. All the way around. And then all I'll do is give them a little water from the top. And then, this is what I do with them. I'll stick them in here. I've got some Cosmos in there at the moment. But yeah. In like so. With another one. Like so. Then all you need to do is just give it a little water from the top. Just to increase the water to wick its way to the top. Leave them in there for half an hour until it's fully soaked. And take them out and put them back somewhere warm, well lit, until all the chance of first frost has gone, then you can start planting them out. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask folks. If you like the video, please subscribe. And on the happy sewing, happy growing. Thank you for watching everybody and bye.